Our next head-to-head -head features two different patients with two different diseases, and you get to see if you can distinguish them. So here's patient one. All right. This is the mass we're interested in. It's an enhancing mass. Okay, and it's pretty near the cella. All right. Here's patient two. There's an enhancing mass here, here, and it's pretty near the cella. Here they are next to each other, patient one, patient two. If you'd like to pause the video here and see if you can see what's different about these two and distinguish these two lesions, now would be a good time. Okay, what's the difference between these two lesions? Well, on this lesion, you can see that there is this rim of CSF all the way around the outside of the enhancing component. That rim of CSF corresponds to this area on the other side, that's Meckel's cave. This is an expanded Meckel's cave being pushed out in all directions around this enhancing mass. I'm gonna note one other thing. The cavernous segment of the internal carotid artery has been displaced anteriorly on the side of the lesion. See, that's more forward than its counterpart. All right, now let's look at patient two. In this mass, Meckel's cave is spared. This mass is anterior to Meckel's cave, not inside Meckel's cave, and it looks like it's pushing the internal carotid artery more posteriorly. Right, so this is more anterior and more medial than this one. All right, you think you know what these are? Here is the same concept in coronal plane. We can see this is patient one, enhancing mass, and you can see a rim of CSF all the way around the outside of it. It's an expanded Meckel's cave. Here's Meckel's cave on the normal side. Here is a series of images showing again patient one, and you can see the CSF around this as we come higher and higher, and there's a little bit of expanded Meckel's cave. All of it, though, is outside of the cavernous sinus itself. Here's the cavernous sinus. We are always behind and inferior to the cavernous sinus. We're in Meckel's cave. Okay, so what's our conclusion? This is a uniformly enhancing mass inside Meckel's cave. This is a schwannoma of the fifth cranial nerve in Meckel's cave. This is a schwannoma anterior to Meckel's cave within the cavernous sinus. This is an abducens schwannoma, a sixth cranial nerve schwannoma. Similar but very different clinical implications.